Titan door is, uh, by name, we, we manufacture hollow metal doors, but we're also anything that is involved in the hollow metal side of the detention industry. Windows, frames, uh, doors, obviously, and then we also get into some custom or we'll get into um, other areas that need to have security for the inmates and for the officers. We have a 50,000 square foot facility. Uh, approximately 1,200 square feet of that is office where we do our designing, our engineering, our CAD, all the different things behind the scenes. And then the balance of that is in the plant where we manufacture through our press breaks and through our welding operations. Here at Titan, we are a privately owned company, but we're more than just our company alone. We are part of a three-headed monster, as we like to call it. There's USA Production Parts, Patriot Tool and Die, and Titan Steel Door. And we work together to basically enclose the supply chain where we support each other with our strengths. On the USA side, we are roll forming, robotically welding, laser cutting, multiple different dimensions that go into high production where with Patriot, they support us from a R&D, they'll help us with tool maintenance, and then they'll build specialized tools for us that we actually use here at Titan. We're a young company, but we're experienced. We bring a lot of knowledge on the design and engineering and the submittal side with some of our longer term employees. But once you get into the plant, we look at it through a lens of an automotive type mindset, very streamlined, very low head count, but efficient movement, and that's just a big key for us. And, and so when we combine all three of those companies together, no matter if it's exiting product from our Gainesville facility where our lasers are located, we do little things like etching, we'll do little things like staging on pallets to ensure that that flow and that product enters into the Titan facility as efficiently as possible, which ultimately helps our customer allow us to meet lead times. As we move down the assembly line, there are less movement by utilizing tab and slot methods, utilizing pokey oak or things that we would use from our automotive side of our business. We have installed that into our day-to-day -day line. It helps with our efficiencies, it makes our employees successful, and then ultimately it makes our customers successful when we deliver product on time. The design and the submittals and all the upfront work is done here on site here in Murrayville. So once that is completed, we work with our sister company, USA Production Parts in Gainesville. They're located 35 miles from us where our lasers are used. We cut the products, we stack the products, we, we do all the things to set us up for success. So then we get into our logistics part. We have taken care of that by having our own truck, our own driver, and we make multi-runs on a day. So we can coordinate, we can make changes, we can be very efficient that as things happen in the real world, we can manipulate and move because it's on our payroll, right? And that's important to us. But once it gets to Titan, it's a pretty streamlined system. We look at our tags, we look at all the etching, so we know what needs to be done, and we enter that into our three different press breaks. Those three different press breaks are multi-layered, multi-part making, manufacturing equipment that we think is state-of-the-art, that can hold tight tolerances, and allow us to be efficient as it moves through the process. So once we complete the press break operation, which is really the start of all the processes that we do. They're building inventory for both our door line and our frame line, but as, as we walk through and go to our door line, we build our inventories to have days worth of inventory that we can be ahead of the schedule and be able to plan ours, but it's very important too at that point that we can do our quality control. We can check our parts, we can make sure that the prints that, that ultimately are needed and asked for by the architects are exactly what's going down our line. So, as our inventory is built, our guys will pull from the inventory based on the build schedule. As it enters into our line, it basically becomes a one-piece machine. We take that one door, we enter it into the line, and we start building the core parts that go inside of what makes a hollow metal door not so hollow. So as we develop the systems and the parts that go into it, these different parts just start getting added on as it goes through the line. It might be tack welded, it might be fully welded, it might be spot welded. It's all of the different makeups that we feel at Titan need to make the best product in the industry, right? So as we proceed down the door line, we have spot welding machines, we have robotic welders, we have multi-head welders, we have individual welders, manual welders, grinders, all these different things that are going on down the line to make sure that door meets the specifications that our customer is paying for.
So one thing that makes us different is when we got into the industry is we started asking a lot of questions and if anybody knows me personally they'll know I always ask why do you have to have that? Well one thing we set forth is and, and it's just who we are as a company is there's no bondo allowed in our facility and if it is I have to personally sign off on it and here's why if it needs bondo it's not made right that's our opinion and so we look at our employees and we look at each job that says, are we building it exactly how our customers want it? Sure, it's manufacturing. Everything changes, everything moves. But if we enter in a resolution or a, a problem solver that is just masking or covering up something that we don't want our customer to see, we didn't do it right. So no bondo in the plant. We're gonna finish it, we're gonna weld it like it's supposed to be, and we're gonna get it to the customer on time. All of our products meet ASTM F1450 12A. And the reason why we have to meet that is the industry standards that we have to test to to ensure that our doors meet our architectural demands. And how we do that is in house. So we use a outsourced certified company to come in, audit us, audit our process, but every two years we put our own product through our testing to ensure that we're meeting the standards that the industry requires. So one thing we're excited to announce today at the Poly Jail seminar is some innovations and some new products that might not be new to the industry, but they're new to Titan Door. So over the next 18 to 24 months, we're going to be unveiling certified, tested, and approved ceiling panels and wall panels. Part of that will uh, complement the team, so we feel like it's a big move forward for the team in general but also us as Titan. We're part of a, of a bigger team. Um, some would know it as the Poly Jail team, but we're, we're one manufacturer in a subset of, of manufacturers that go out to a job, take care of our customer, and us being the hollow metal, we support uh, the efforts at Poly Jail uh, delivering to their site as one of the newer guys in the industry to ask some questions and, and ask why and, and try to figure out ways to help the team and ultimately our end customer um, have a better experience for the long haul because this might be the only jail um, they ever build. So we want to be part and ask the right questions on the front end, rely on the experience of the steel sales, of Willoughby, of Accurate Controls, of Poly Jail, all the guys that bring different aspects into that. We try to absorb all of that and put that into our package so everybody wins and even the customer for years to come. Damon, that was a great presentation, and while that was going on, we got some questions that were sent in, and that's one thing I do want to remind everyone who's actually uh, live into this webinar today. Please don't be hesitant to type in any questions after any of the presentations, because whether I get to them right after the presentation or we have them at the live question and answer at the end of the webinar. We will have the panel of experts here to answer those questions, so please feel free. There isn't any bad question, there's just a question not asked. So, Damon, this question is for you and for Philip. What precautions is Titan Door taking to address COVID-19 matters and guidelines? Be a common question these days with uh, all the challenges we're facing in, in regards to COVID-19. But um, the main precautions we're taking is daily testing of temperatures, um, questionnaires uh, for each employee uh, or any visitor that enters our building. We actually shut down the facility to visitors for a, for a period of about three and a half months. Um, and basically our our employees know the drill and it, it's strictly followed and tracked every day so we can maintain um, safety for both our employees and their families. Um, but as far as the guidelines are concerned, we've worked with our local um, Chamber of Commerce and other hospitals in the area to make sure that we're, as, as this pandemic moves and changes, we're following. And uh, we feel like we've done a phenomenal job and we feel like our employees have uh, really stepped up and, and, and followed the lines of the, the guidelines that have been placed by, by both local and state governments. 
That's a great response, and I think it kind of almost leads into this next question. I think this is probably going to be a little bit more up Phillips Alley, but it says, the question is, what are current lead times for submittals and product delivery for your hollow metal doors and frames? The current lead time for submittals is four to six weeks. Um, that changes by the size of the job. Um, and then the product uh, delivering to the sites is 10 to 12 weeks, and again, that changes you know, we've seen a, a big uh, jump in, in COVID jobs uh, that had fast tracks, uh, federal money and things that has to be done very quickly. So we're able to adapt to those needs as well. Okay, fantastic. You guys, we'll catch up to you later on in the webinar when we get to the live question and answers.